Hey there fellow traders, welcome back to Insider Financial, I'm Alex Carlson. In this video we will recap today's small cap action and discuss our trading plan for tomorrow. But first, I want to recap the stock we profiled in last night's video which had almost 7,000 views. We sent subscribers our profi profile on WISA last night at 8 p.m. We knew this one had some major bounce potential after recently completing a reverse split on Friday. We saw some meat fall off the bone as we usually do at reverse, but it appeared to have bottomed out. Boy, did we nail that one. It opened at $2.68 and ran all the way to $8.60 later in the session as evidenced by the chart above. That is a monster 220% move from the opening trade and 391% from yesterday's close. Congrats if you caught a piece of that one. It was our second triple digit runner that we have profiled in the last month. It was the third double digit plus runner that we have profiled in a row. We have our eye on a former, former massive runner. The last couple of times we took a look at this one, it broke off the chain and went wild. We will be dropping that one tomorrow evening at some point. Keep an eye on your email. If you aren't on the text message, list yet, then I suggest you do so immediately. Spam filters are highly aggressive and this is the only way to ensure that you get our profiles in a timely manner. And to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube and sign up with your email. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Text is the fastest way to get our alerts and it works for all all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero. It will not work. And after you sign up, you'll get a welcome email which includes a free copy of our ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free service from Insider Financial. We don't run any telegram groups, discords, or paid subscription services whatsoever. Well, moving on, uh, last night, as I said, our favorite pumper, Mr. Zach Morris, is back. Yesterday it was KAVL. Today it was SXTC. As you can see from this tweet, he said uh, be right after the market opened, SXTX, XST, XXTC. Sorry, guys, that uh, I love this stock. And you can see the price action here. And look at KAVL, same price action. You get this long whisk. And then today, red XXTC already trading lower in the uh, after hours uh Closed at a dollar sixty-two, uh, trading a dollar forty-two. Uh, guys, notice a pattern here. These are day trades. These are not buy and hold type plays. Uh, DFLI, I covered this one last night, had had earnings last night, a reported net income of $3 million, which was a strong earnings report. Today we got a green candle, closed up 36%. Uh, congrats to all who banked today in that name. Uh, two names that I warned everyone about two weeks ago are DJT and DXYZ. Um, I said trade them, don't own them, play that momentum, not red. Uh, these are textbook examples of when to get out. They will pump again, but have to be patient. Uh, keep them on your radar screen and play the technicals. I will do, be doing more videos and maybe even a live stream on how I do this in my own stream. In DJT, I said $50 was the make or break level. Uh, below that, we would target $40, and today we took that level out. You know, one of the ways that, you know, when you're trading these higher price names, uh, and even the lower price names, you know, the key numbers, you know, focus on the key numbers, $1, $2, $5, in this case, 50, 40, 30, it just kept breaking those support levels, uh, and they were shorts, or, or you could have bought puts on DJT, um, but again, you know, it will pump again, uh, you know, the, with the Trump, there's always news, uh, his fans will come back in, uh, but right now, you know, you got the, the, 
threat of issue, you know they're going to be issuing more stock they put out news today about uh, you know doing a something with tv i didn't even pay any attention to it, it you know live streaming it's old technology you know they have no new technology they have nothing special uh except for trump so that's what you need to focus on uh play the momentum don't become bag holders you know right now trade them don't own them that's the best uh advi you know advice i can give you and again none of this is financial advice uh, DXYZ, uh, this invests in private companies. Uh, you know, the IPO closed at four bucks. You know, it was just completely detached from reality, uh, ran all the way to $100 has very small position in SpaceX and people just got too excited and uh, it just went crazy um, but again play the momentum today was a good momentum day uh, closed up 17 percent in terms of new names uh, that I am watching first up is CLNN uh, the shares rallied uh, 50 Two percent in uh, post-market trading uh, tonight. After the company presented positive phase two data for its drug uh, in the treatment of multiple sclerosis or MS, uh, the CLNN said data from the long-term extension of its phase two visionary MS study showed significant evidence of repair and remyelination across multiple paraclinical endpoints. The company presented the data at the annual meeting of the American Academy of Neurology in Denver. So good news today, closed at 31 cents, uh, trading higher uh, in the after hours. Be watching this one for, for uh, trade setups. Uh, JAGX, a good day today, closed up 50%. <clears throat> but the news was good, so I think we can get some more continuation. Uh, the stock Again, closed up 50% after uh, the drug maker said it signed a five-year exclusive licensing deal uh, with Venture Life Group to market the cancer treatment support product uh, Gelclair in the U.S. Gelclair is used to treat oral mucositis, also known as chemo mouth, a painful and debilitating side effect of certain cancer treatments. The company plans to launch the product in the, in the U.S. in Q3. Earlier this month, NASDAQ extended Jaguar's grace period to complete comply with its minimum bid listing requirements to August 13th. Jaguar stock got a boost on April 10th when the company announced shareholders had approved a reverse stock split. Uh, next up is INVO, uh, closed at 76 cents, but we're trading $1.60 in the after hours. Uh, we got earnings after the bell. This one has just a 2.59 million share uh, float. Uh, look at the revenue growth for just a two million dollar market cap. Uh, revenue was 1.3 million, an increase of 397 uh, percent. Clinic revenue increased 519 uh, percent to 1.3 million, uh, compared to 220 thousand uh, dollars. This is a Healthcare services fertility company focused on expanding access to advanced treatment worldwide through the establishment and acquisition of fertility clinics. Uh, I don't know if any of you are familiar or had couples, parents that have dealt with this, but uh, this is a fertility is a booming business. It's a major issue for a lot of couples, uh, and uh, I think this is a growth area to focus on. Company did report a loss, but again. The key here is focusing on the revenue growth. Uh, they can focus on the profits later. Uh, moving on, uh, lastly is CXAI. Uh, this one here is an AI play uh, out with news tonight. The company announced record double digit annual recurring uh, revenue growth. Uh, in the fourth quarter of 2023 and 24% ARR growth for the full year 2023. Uh, the growth is tied to two large Fortune 1000 logo wins in Q4 uh, that are slated for deployment in the summer of 2024, leveraging the company's state-of-the-art CXAI platform and in partnership with Google Cloud. So I'll be watching this one close at 391, trading 469 in the after hours. Again, this one's been spiking, has been a big uh, runner, big winner for us here uh, in the past. We've caught some good moves here uh, It's uh, in CXII, uh, talking about this on the channel. So let's uh, see if we can get some more uh, opportunities uh, tomorrow and over the next few days in CXAI. And then tomorrow, of course, I will be uh, scanning pre-market as I do each and every trading day. I 
if I see anything else, I will let subscribers know. Uh, that's why it's so important. Uh, you know, signing up is so important, and it's completely free. And you're not going to want to miss our next play. Uh, WISA was an absolute home run today. Uh, congrats to all who banked. At Insider Financial, we put stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves. As I repeatedly stated, there are always opportunities in the markets daily. The important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding the momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. And to get our small cap reports, we cover low floats, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, AI stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com and sign up with your email and mobile number. There is no spam or your info is never shared. You can unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up. Just see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Remember, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. It is our opinion meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for joining me today on Insider Financial. Subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. This is Alex Carlson signing off. Bye-bye, guys.